Spring bulk day one, baby. We finally get to bulk. Boys, here's the thing. For a while, I was thinking, get to 140, be shredded, be diced. But then I realized getting to 140 is just about synonymous with being a pencil neck, okay? I'm not trying to be a pencil neck. I'm trying to be an absolute mass monster freak like the guys in the 90s, okay? Did you ever see a famous bodybuilder from the 90s who was like, I'm gonna cut to 140, bro. Yeah, I wanna get real shredded before, you know, I bulk, man. No, they said, I'm gonna cut until I have to bulk again, okay? So their goal was like, let me just get lean enough to bulk. That was it, okay? There wasn't, oh, I have to get shredded and then I have to bulk. No, it was cut until I have to bulk and maximize the progress because there's a certain point of diminishing returns whether you're bulking too much or whether you're cutting too much, okay? A lot of guys don't know this, but if you cut too much, you'll crash your hormones. If you're cutting for way too long and too much, you're sticking to like low body fats, like super low. Anything really, I'd say under 6% long-term is very unhealthy, um, at least from what I've seen. And then also the same can be said about anything really over like 25% body fat, okay? So same can be said about both camps. And if you stick to one extreme too far, okay, you're going to see less growth. Now, I did not go to the extreme um, either way, in my opinion. I didn't bulk too hard, and I definitely did not cut too hard. I got down to probably about 12% body fat, and uh, I'm cool with that, right? I don't need to get to 6%. But the thing is, guys, I was just getting so fatigued and done with the cut in the sense of, yes, I was progressing my lift still, Yes, I was, you know, generally enjoying the process of being leaner, but I kept rebounding, okay? I kept going down to 155, going back up to 160, all right? Stuff like that would just keep happening. Cheat meals come up, things happen, right? And obviously, I have control over what I put in my mouth, but my actions were reflecting the fact that I was ready to bulk again, okay? And I am an intermediate, close to being noob lifter, all right? Yes, I've been lifting for a while, but I've been doing it properly for a very small amount of time, all right? doing it to maximize progression for a super small amount of time. So with that said, doing it properly now, I am unlocking so many new gains, strongest they've ever been in my life on this cut, okay, by far, and I am ready to take it to the next level and bulk super hard. I'm done being freaking, you know, sleeper build. I'm done looking like, you know, Spider-Man or whatever. I want to look like freaking the Incredible Hulk, all right? I don't even want to look like Thor or Captain America, I'm past that. I want to look like a freaking Hulk, okay? So that's my goal physique. That's my dream physique. And also, boys, I'm expecting on this bulk, all right? First off, I want you to guess my arm measurement in the comments, all right? Tell me what you think it is, and uh, I'll just tell you what I want my, my arms to get to, all right? So right now, they're at 15 and a quarter. I gained a quarter inch, Um after initially losing two. So I started at 17 last bulk, lost two inches, got down to 15, and then recently got up to 15 and a quarter. Okay, so I gained muscle while on the cut. And my plan is, I wanna put on massive amounts of horse size onto my arms, okay? Like absolute beast mode, animal freakazoid size on my arms. So we're gonna go up to 18 and a half inches cold, all right? And a lot of you in the comments are gonna go, bro, bro, bro. That's not possible. That's not possible. That's, you know, set your goals, be realistic, man. But dude, you're telling me if I had 17 on the bulk, okay, and maybe like 16.9, but I'll call it 17. Dude, are you saying I really can't get 18 and a half? Okay, considering the gains I'm unlocking during the cut and everything, all right? So this is just some motivation, but I will tell you the diet, or sorry, the meal that made me decide to start this bulk, okay? The meal that made me decide to start it all was three McChickens, two large fries, and probably like eight to 10 packets of ketchup, uh, and a you know, big Diet Coke, all right? That is what inspired me. I don't even wanna say made me, that is what inspired me to start this bulk. No more freaking, ugh, no more sleeper bill. I'm gonna walk into a room and I'm gonna have this dominant freaking, how many sets you got left, bro? That type of build. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have the... Uh, hey, man, you almost finished with that? Can I work in? That type of build, all right? That type of thing is going to be what I got going on. People are going to be like, oh, bro, 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 are you Clark Kent? 
No. No, I'm Max Sharkey, actually. And, you know, at night, when I have to go save the world, I mean, I don't even know what my superhero name is then, but you guys can make it up for me. All right? Max Sharkey. All right? Not even Clark Kent. Just the absolute incredible Hulk. Okay? I'm going to get super wide, super jacked. All right? I'm going to be like a muscle pit bull. You know those pit bulls you see that are just freaky? All right? Guys, I'm getting excited. You could probably tell I have been mentally ready to bulk for probably a couple weeks now. Now, I will address something, okay? In a couple videos ago, it was like one or two videos ago, uh, it was like a kitchen talk. I basically said, I'm recommitting to the cut. I want to lose 10 more pounds. And that was kind of just a reflection of me having kind of failed so many times at trying to go below 155 that I was like, you know what? Uh, I really need to either fully commit this time or do something else. And I kind of made up my mind tonight. I'm like, in my heart, I really do want to bulk. And I just think I would enjoy that. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, boys, with that said, I'm going to freaking guzzle down some creatine. And uh, discuss with you guys what's going to be hit tomorrow. So tomorrow, we're going to, if we're on the bulk, we get a PR, man. PR everything. So I'm going to carve up tomorrow. I'm going to have a freaking king's breakfast. All right, Probably, we're looking at syrup. We're looking at, I'm gonna make myself protein pancakes. You guys are gonna watch the process. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm gonna get in a literal truckload of carbohydrates. They're gonna intramuscularly hydrate the muscle and increase force production via incre increased glycogen, okay? All right, so that's gonna be exciting. All right, and I'm just looking forward to it in general. Today was a fantastic day, boys. I went to church. It was awesome, awesome church experience, and uh, it was just super fun and good overall. I got home or got the McDonald's after, had that meal. All right, and I'm just excited overall, boys. And see, here's the thing. I'll talk about this too on the side. Um, here's what we're gonna hit tomorrow, okay? Because this isn't the main point of the video. The main point of the video is about the bulk. But we're gonna hit tomorrow is a absolute juicy freaking forearm, bicep, and back day, okay? We're gonna hit some rambunctious lat spreads. We're gonna mog everything and everyone, all right? But I wanna try to hit 95 tomorrow on the wrist curl. And if I feel good, I'll do 100, all right? And I wanna get at least one rep, one rep, okay? And then from there, I will work up to 55 on the preacher curl, single arm, and try to get a good, solid, good set with 55, okay? We might even say screw it and go up to 60 and just do some ego lifting. Then we're going to go do some horizontal hammer strength rows, load it heavy, heavier than anybody's ever seen, and just rip it. Like Branch Warren, we're gonna uh, rip the weight, okay? And then, uh, oh, I'm talking, hold on. Uh, all right, I wasn't finished. We're gonna absolutely tug the weight, like Ronnie Coleman, okay, and Branch Warren combined into one person, fused with the Incredible Hulk. And uh, that, I mean, dude, you guys, you guys can watch the video if you want to see the rest. I mean, I could just tell you the whole workout, but what's the point if you, if I'm spoiling it, all right? So, guys, it's 1 in the morning. I really need to calm down. But I had a 24-ounce uh, French dark roast, okay, from my uh, local sheets. So I'm pretty freaking hype right now. And also, guys, look at how vascular I am on a side note. <sighs> look how freaking vascular I am. No wonder, I mean, no wonder I should start the bulk. Imagine these bad boys going up to, like, 17 inches, okay? You can guess the measurement in the comments right now, whatever you think these are. But they're pretty freaking big. So, I mean, I'm risk curling the 100 dumbbell with one arm tomorrow. This thing has been more than done stirring for a while at this point. I'm going to chug it the frick down, okay? And then um, I'm going to make, to commemorate this bulk, no, that's not the right word, Alexa. 
What does commemorate mean? Commemorate means to honor or remember something in a significant manner. It involves creating a lasting tribute to commemorate a person, event, or occasion. This can take the form of ceremonies, memorials, or monuments. Okay, so it's low-key commemorating. Not really, though. It's like in memory of something, but it's less of in memory of, but it's more like uh, finally like bringing me back to my like legacy, okay? My legacy was bulk meal, which you, you guys never got to witness. Look up the recipe on my Instagram. It's like my pinned video, okay? I think it should be either my TikTok or my Instagram. You guys will see the, the bulk meal recipe that I used to turbo bulk my way up to like 186 from like 155. And um, that was the single-handedly, single-handed most effective meal that I ever used to bulk by far. I mean, it got me so big, so quick. And it's very easy to get down. So we're gonna have another glass of water. <sighs> All right. Excuse me. I am finally chilling out a little bit. The bulk is going to be the greatest thing to go down. Uh, for at least another like couple minutes. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you tomorrow.